everybody, welcome back to Dram's Four Dummies. I am with one of my favorite uh, lifetime dummies, Joe. Joe, I feel like we uh, we know high school. High school. It wasn't middle school. It was high school. No, because you went to a different middle school, I believe. Yeah. Antioch. Antioch. I was at Eastgate. You're an Eastgate guy. Yeah. He was. He was other side of the tracks. That's right. From from Antioch. I don't know. Yeah. But, Something like that. And then we. <laughs> and then I had a CD store and. Joe came, was a customer at the CD store? I was, I was a frequent customer at the CD store. Yeah. And we played softball. We did play for the Rockers, the Listening Room Rockers. That's, oh, that's right. That was, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, we played a few years there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was good times. That yeah. Was, um, that was the year that I got hit with this in the, in the shin, I believe, with a baseball when I was pitching, maybe. Okay. And I had the markings of the stitching of the ball embedded in my leg oh god and it was bleeding from the stitching it, it was it was pretty do you have a scar from that no oh that's not a cool story then you gotta but, have a scar but the happen. blood was an outline of the stitching of the ball <laughs> <laughs> that's when it, we went we went hard it was not uh, we weren't beer league in it we were playing no. for, for keeps yeah we had a yeah. fit, like a 60 year old post postal carrier who like oh we did the ringer yeah like, sean i think is the name steve steve sean steve, steve. something like that short yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah anyway yeah it's, that was it's a good time that was a long time ago it's not a short stop it's not a, a softball channel uh it is no. a it is a whiskey <laughs> channel and that's how we actually got back in touch that is so i'm on we, we're both on one of the big actually hold on i think one of these oh no yeah this yeah, one yeah, yeah. So KC Rickhouse, shout out to KC Rickhouse. Um, I saw I or we saw each other's names or comments yeah, or something there. Something and, yeah. yeah, and then so I was like, then we reached out and yada yada yada. Now I now we're doing this channel and now here here he is. And so we're back. And so again, the beauty of the bourbon and the whiskey is that it brings people together and it's a social drink. And so we actually he was over here before the channel. Doing doing things out of my out of my uh, out of my pantry and yeah. and and uh, we were talking about how we do how I do blinds and he was kind of taking notes on that because it's not something he's ever done and so we were just kind of catching up on how this channel even came to be so crazy yeah. how all of the how all the stuff yeah. works big circle yeah absolutely so like um, and I I maybe know this but I've probably forgotten at this point but I mean for the for the for the benefit of our four viewers, um, <laughs> uh, what? How long have you been into the whiskeys, the bourbons? So I didn't get into the whiskeys and bourbons until maybe 2019, okay. 2020, okay. and I was doing keto at the time. Okay. And I needed something that didn't have a lot of sugar in it. Okay. Um, something that still did it right. Yeah. And and I just kind of started do, drinking this. And um, I don't know. I liked it, and I like the culture behind it, and I like how people are coming different different ways to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I've just learned and grown and and learned more, and and it's fun. I love that. Yeah, I love that. It kind of starts to become an, an addiction too. I think a lot of us, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Oh, I don't have that bottle. <laughs> I gotta go get that. I gotta go spend three times what it's worth just to have that bottle. And right. yeah. I feel like I've been, I think I, I didn't get too, it didn't become too much of an illness, but it definitely was at a place where I needed to go, I need to woe that down a little bit. Yeah. And once you're talking about secondary market stuff, right. and, and I, that might also be where, where we connected to, yeah. was kind of seeing how that works. And we don't talk a lot about, but it's a it's a reality that, 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 that um, pushes prices up and does all kinds yeah. of stuff. And, you know, I've just gotten to a place where I'm like, all right. I did it a little bit here and there, and usually I wasn't going out and hunting and paying way over for the bottles, but I right. would move open bottles that weren't tripping my trigger that I knew would, would, would be, right. uh, someone else would love it more than I would. But now that I'm doing this, I don't want to do, I don't want to move bottles, and I don't really believe in going up and paying double or triple yeah. retail for things anymore either. And like you and I were just talking yeah. off camera about the blind barrels. Um, shout out, of course, to my unofficial sponsor, Blind Barrels, but and how they're introducing people to the smaller, the smaller distilleries and the craft distilleries that are doing it right, doing it uniquely, doing it locally, and that's fun because we have in our minds what bourbon or whiskey tastes like based on these three or four or five distillery right. or uh, legacy distilleries, and it tastes really weird, different, unique 
things that these other people are spending a lot of cool uh, time on is that's kind of fun for me now. So, and then it kind of draws back to what we're doing with this channel. You've brought us something, which I don't know if you can see it on the camera for because of the angle, but you've brought us for something that I don't know what it is, of course, and it looks so incredibly dark. It's like I couldn't be more excited to try it. Um, you've poured enough for us that if <laughs> if I finish this, I, and, I, and, and as is a theme on my channel so far, is that I'm always doing this on empty stomachs, usually. So I end up buzzed out by the sure. end. I think one of my episodes with Justin, I'm just like cussing every other word by the end because I was like completely buzzed and, and starved. It's fun. Yeah, it's part of the fun. I also tonight, after you leave and we're cleaned up, I will go get my Taco Bell and pour my bourbon and Coke. Sure. That's my thing. Uh, but yeah, like this, I, I, I'm excited about this because the darkness can mean a lot of things. It can mean it can be age, so it can be a super old bourbon whiskey that we're, or whiskey that we're drinking, and it could be finished, which is always unique and fun because what's it finished in, and what's bringing the color, and what's, what flavors is it going to bring? If it is finished. I'm already an idiot when it comes to this stuff. You guys already know that if you followed any of this at all. I, I can't pull notes out of standard bourbon. So if it's going to be finished, I'm going to be like, well, it's weird. I don't know what it is. So because And now, especially with the finishes, people are only have, have doing – there's just hundreds and hundreds of yeah. crazy barrels and things and combinations that people are doing. So I'm excited to try this. So we'll talk as we go like everybody does when they do this, you know, drinking and having a good time. Oh, by the way, if you catch a little wisp of music, um, we're on the 90s alternative station, one, because we're – we're '90s high school guys, so that's that's our that, that's 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 just in our wheelhouse. It's some of the best '90s music, some of the best music ever, and and so he requested that. He started going down some different rabbit holes. I'm like, I don't know. Well, let's just stick with the. We'll just stay with '90s alternatives. So we got cake right now, uh, Mexico, which I like. Nah, that's an off. That's not a the most no. famous cake. No. So again, if you've not joined us before, I'm <laughs> drinking this blind. I don't know what. Oh, actually. I'm going to have him show you what it is. Yeah, you want me to grab the bottle? Yeah, I'm going to hide my eyes so that he can show you and you guys know what it is. And then I'm the only one in, this, in, the, in the room that doesn't know what it is, so. And you can't see, right? I cannot see. I don't want to see. Okay, you can't see. Cannot see. Turn my head a little more. <laughs> Hope that's focused. Uh, it's probably good okay. enough. <laughs> okay. All right. Keep my eyes shielded from the rebagging. All right, are we away? Yeah, sweet. So if you've got this at home, pour yourself a dram and enjoy it with us, and then you can listen to my ridiculous notes and be like, "What is he talking about? It doesn't even make sense." Um, and if you don't have this, hopefully you pour something else that you love, and you can drink your own thing and think about your own notes while I do this ridiculous. So, cheers. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Oh. Hmm. I mean, the first thing, this, this guy, he just goes right into the drink. He doesn't even no. care about the nose. He's like, let's just roll. And I, if I tell people here, like I'm, so I, I direct theater and we're, I'm in a show, I'm directing a show right now. And it's like, when you're directing, it's like some directors are acting first, singing, you know, sure. whatever, singing, acting, dance. If you're doing a musical, I'm always acting first. Other people, that's the last thing on their list. Okay. Nose might be my number one. Oh, is it really? Yeah, and yeah. like my wife Erin will, will like she's watched me become nearly orgasmic over a good nose, and she's like, I don't even know how much you like taste. She, she's like, has, and <laughs> she's smelling. Yeah, if smelling, it smells smelling. good enough, like I just want to live in that glass. I don't even, I don't even want to ruin it with yeah. a drink. I'm like, that's just so good. And yeah. So what do you think of this? I mean, it's a really, really nice nose. Um, my gut, I can't, I can't even swirl this. You've got so much in here. Hold on, let me get a little. Sorry, hey, you want to pour some in here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say it's finished. Just because it's not. If it was this dark off age, I feel like it would be pull. It would be hitting me a lot more in the face with like that that oaky, tanniny thing going on. Oh, I should look at the proof. You want the proof? I don't want it right now. I, I want to not know anything. Okay. We'll know it. They know it already. Yeah, well, that's true. You may or may not know it, and then I'll know, and then I'll pour you something off that. But okay. yeah, I like this a lot. This because this is fun. This is the fun of finishes if it's finished. 
is some really work for you and some don't. And it's that, that's hard for you to buy them sometimes. And I'm like, God, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to like that or not. So, and it may not be, don't say anything, but I kind of feel like this could easily be in the, in the cognac, um, um, yeah, a cab, I don't know, somewhere in that, in that whiny, boozy thing, I don't know where it is, it, it's not like an orange, I don't think, or, but it's nice, it, it, so it feels, it feels very rich, it feels very decadent, it feels very deep in, in, in kind of its smell, it doesn't feel super complex, and that it doesn't seem to have like 18 different things happening, every time I come back, it's fairly <clears throat> similar, but it's nice. It's just really nice. It's got good legs, too. Oh. Love that. I, yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if this is it. Okay. Yeah, crazy. Um, I'm not, not high proof, I don't think. Maybe 100-ish. <clears throat> I don't know. Guessing. <laughs> I make this up as I go. It's sure. part of the fun oh. of the channel. Maybe at some it, point. Enjo I'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> watching you because I really, I really like this one. Okay, no, I like it. What I would say is that, kind of like the nose, like the palate, it's smooth. Mm -hmm. It's got good viscous. Mm -hmm. it, it fills the mouth sure. nice, but it doesn't punch. Right. It doesn't have. I like a ride. I'm kind of like I like riding the bowl where I'm like, if I don't drink it right, it kind of kicks you in the in the in the balls a little bit. Yeah. Um, this one feels like it's pretty easy drinking. It's it. It's not complex in the palate, but the finish sort of zinged back with almost a cinnamon kind of a. It had a it, it had more going on. It had a different flavor punch in the finish that wasn't in the palate, which is unique, and not in the nose either. So that's fun. It's kind of did three different things where the nose kind of was this rich, decadent thing. The palate was kind of more of just a sweet, easy, caramel thing, and then like then it had like a kind of a cinnamon kick in the back. That's my first impression. If I was gonna, I like that nose. I like that nose a lot. Like that is one where you just you smell it and like that something in the front of my brain, like just relaxes and just tingles. There's just like there's some endorphin hit right there where you're just like, uh, and it is. It's like, it's like I, I I have a hot tub and I I almost I'm almost in there every morning and there's just like it, it just like sometimes just it just that settles over you and you're just like. Uh, this, a good nose will do that to you, me. I like it. It's different. It is a little different every time I come back to the nose. I mean, what do you pull out of it? I mean, you know what it is, but like, what do you kind of, do you, what notes are you getting? Like, in my limited capacity of smelling and mm -hmm. my nose, I don't know. It's not overpowering, mm -hmm. but it's strong, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's got a bold, it's rich. Bold, it's rich big, flavor. Yeah. Right. Big nose, but not. But it's not overpowering, uh -huh. to where it's not making me just like wince right. or anything Which like that. It kind of feels like the proof maybe is not up there. It's not killing you. you can, yeah, when you when you get your nose, I like yeah. to pull one of my one of I think Judge is like, geez, you're you're just going all the way in the glass, and I'm like, if, if the proof will sometimes I'll tell yeah. you that. Like if I can get my nose all the way in there. Well, I know with drinking wine, like we used to buy a lot of wine, and we would swirl it, and mm -hmm. we would try. I would try to be fancy and try to smell it and looking looking at the legs and. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I just really enjoy this one. But. I do too. I like the finish a lot. It runs. It's, it, it, it lasts. It doesn't just fall yeah. off. And as I keep talking, it kind of keeps. It's kind of still doing something yeah. for me. Finish is the thing, and I said something on a prior video, maybe with with uh, Blind Barrels uh, owner. Um, knows this one for me. Finish usually comes in last because I'm not very good at understanding it or or, or being able to yeah. pick out notes out of it. When you say finish, you're talking about that aftertaste. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah, after you've swallowed it, kind of. What's it yeah. do then? Is yeah. it in your throat, in your is in your yeah. mouth still? Is it still yeah. rolling and running? Does it does it have a different flavor that comes back? Does it have a different? <clears throat> and this one does. Like I feel like this has more almost experience, more ride in the finish than it does in the palate. The palate's easy, and then it sort of kind of runs on you, and you got that. That like Kentucky hug, that that burn kind of through your chest. That that's happened. That, I mean, it definitely has that. It's good. It's really good. Um, I gotta score it somehow. It's different, and I think that's kind of maybe where I think finish too, because I'm just like, 
it's not like in a wheelhouse that I know. And you talk about the wine, that was an interesting thought you had too. Like I equate this with red wine especially right. in that you, my dad did taste, did uh, the, the wine wines by Jennifer in Parkville. Yeah. yeah. And so like it's, it's, it's been aged and usually in oak and it's been aged over time. And it's like, where did it come from? How long did it right. age? What did it, right. what was its aging process? Right. There's so much similarity to yeah. bourbon. Um, I never got to a place with wine that I could do what I do here with it. Yeah. Like I never went that deep with it. So I tend to feel like there's more variance and complexity in the bourbons, but also because the mash bills are so right. different. They're so different. Yeah. Red uh, wines, red grapes. Yeah. And my wife, she was really big into wine for a long time. And, yeah. And we would, you know, we start out at a $20 bottle and next thing you know, as you get older and you're doing well in your career you increase your price of your mm -hmm. wine and and i started noticing the difference between a 20 dollar bottle of wine and an 80 dollar bottle of wine i'm trying to bring that down and, and i'm going to, sorry go ahead but, 20 and but, an 80 oh yeah but but there's there's a big difference typically mm -hmm. and a lot of times if you if you haven't drank enough wine you don't know that or you can't you can't can't feel that in your palate and in your your mouth and right and everything but, but, but now but you start you start noticing things and you start pulling stuff out and and understanding why yeah. it's an eighty dollar bottle right. versus twenty. But then yeah. also, did you realize? Did you have the experience like my dad would talk about, and I we've talked about with bourbons and whiskeys, where price is not the indicator of no, quality. No, absolutely not. Yeah, like you can have a twenty dollar bottle of wine and it's fantastic. that kicks a hundred dollar bottle. Yeah, absolutely. So it really is like getting to a place with your palate where you can discern yeah. which is the fun of the blinds. Yeah. And I don't know what this costs. This could yeah. be a, a $10,000 bottle of be. bourbon. This could be a $20 bottle of it, bourbon. And I just be. have to go, what do I taste? <laughs> what do I like? And it, and whatever it is, it is. Yeah. And you hope you love it and it's cheap yeah. versus, oh my God, now I got to go and, buy it. And this. available. And available, which is always a thing too. Yeah. All right. I got to give scores on this because I got to get you a blind. God, I don't have any idea. And the music, and people have learned about me, I have ADHD, so when there's noise, I love the music, but also any, the talking we do distracts me, yeah. the music distracts me. So, do the, the viewers know how you, um, score? How, how you score? Um, and what categories you score on? Like, when you watch all these guys, they're so good at it, they can pull all the notes, they can pull the distillery, they can pull the proof, and then they just go... Yeah, you know, I, I, every episode, I think I talk about Matt Porter, he's, he's the GOAT, and he just goes, I don't know, 8.2, which I really think I could do as well. I could just go, overall, I feel like this is, it's right. probably the easier way to do it. Overall, I think this is an 8. Overall, I think this right. is a whatever. Right. But I get a little bit more scientific because I'm just dorky like that. So I, I give a 1 to 10 score on the nose, I give a 1 to 10 score on the palate, and I give a 1 to 10 score on the finish, and then I total it and average it by the 3. And then I come up with my overall oh, average score, score of yeah. 10. Yeah. yeah. And what I have said a lot is I score so similarly, nothing gets 10s, but nothing's going to get a 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. So it's like everything's it's gotta be in really this, bad. It's got to be super bad. Yeah. And no one's going to probably do that. But it'd yeah. be interesting if I was like, I hate. Although I might have, a, I should have brought that bottle too. That thing that you think is such a skunk? It's, it's horrible. I got that in an exchange that we had. What is it? You want me to tell you? Well, you didn't bring it, right? I didn't bring it. Oh, well, yeah. So it was like a Sonoma Valley, uh, but it was like cherry wood and vanilla. Sonoma Valley is a distillery? Yeah. Or okay. Sonoma. Maybe it's just Sonoma. And if you guys like yeah. it, I apologize. In the comments, <laughs> right? If, if you've had Sonoma, in, I don't know if you've heard of yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I can send you a picture later, but it, it was it was not what and I was And it was expecting. finished, you said? Yeah. What was it, the finish? It, it, well, it didn't have... It wasn't in... Uh, different barrels or anything, oh. but, it, but it had like the vanilla and cherries and oh. and cherry maybe cherry woods the finish. Okay, okay. Um, orange in there, like it was very fruity. That's what you were pulling note wise. That's taste wise, okay. note wise. Okay. That was wise. They weren't putting that flavor into the thing. It wasn't a flavored whiskey. Maybe, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It was horrible. And so there was one night where I was just trying to get threw a glass of it so i started mixing it with root beer or orange crush or or seven up oh my god and, root beer and like orange crush is actually probably the best one that i mixed that it sounds with. that yeah. sounds interesting yeah. Yeah, i can see orange crush being a cool mixer for some like cheap bourbon it, it was just bad i can't see root beer yeah, being a it mixer. was root beer was i was just pulling stuff out of my fridge can something make this taste good <laughs> right 
Well, there you go. Yeah. And if you're a big Sonoma person, you now first of all, sorry if you own or work yeah. for the company. And I know that they have a whole bunch of different varieties right. too. So I just happened to get one particular one, and it just wasn't for me. Gotcha. I've decided I'm not gonna. I can't finish this. Yeah, you it's don't too finish much. It. And you're not gonna finish it either. No. But this is gonna. I'm just gonna use this pour in our. Okay. In our flight. So. Yeah. I gotta get scores. Stop yeah. talking to yeah, me. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. Yeah. I'll be done. Shut it. By the way, what's playing right now is I think Spotify with all their AI and all their VNQ, yeah. they really Who's they don't this? even they don't even show you they don't even give you like a real legitimate like playlist. They give they gear it to what they know you listen to. So the Mother Hips is playing right now, and if you haven't yeah. heard of the Mother Hips, I haven't. Most people haven't. It's not a really popular. It's my. It's one of my. It's like probably my favorite, if not top three of all time bands. Okay. They're still out there making music in California. If you know the Mother Hips, throw me a comment and be like, I love the Mother Hips, and I'll send you something free. Maybe just a, I'll blow a kiss <laughs> your direction. Um, but if you love the Mother Hips, like, they're the best band ever. But And if you are the Mother Hips, get to freaking Kansas City. You're pissing me off with your staying west of the, of the Rockies. This is BS, man. Like, you've got fans east of the Rockies. Like, get off the coast, you hippies. Yeah, so, I'd go to a show. Oh, so good. Okay. You need a score. I do. You should talk through it. <laughs> Shut up! I'm thinking. The computer is running. I was actually debating between a seven. I'm probably going to go seven on the palate. It could... I, I'm, I decided I got to get meaner on my scores because yeah. everything just ends up being the eights. same score. They're all sevens and They're eights. all sevens and eights, yeah. <laughs> That's just... It's not offensive. It's easy drinking. It's fairly simple. It doesn't blow my socks off, but I can't knock it for anything, so I gotta say it's good. Yeah. Which so I gotta say I'm just gonna go seven. I feel like the finish comes back and does <clears> a little <throat> bit something extra. I like it. Um, I'm gonna go seven point five on the finish. What was your nose? Eight point five. Oh. And if you've watched the channel enough, and I, I just God hope that there's like eight of you out there that are like I've watched all four hours of your weirdness. That you that you that you know that my joke is I give eights kind of if I I just sort of give eights quickly to noses very I don't know why it's like yeah. like the last blind I did was like eight 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 I'm like that's not right and then I come back later on and I re and I keep yeah. and I put them next to each other and start moving things around yeah you just reconfigure it so the fact you got an eight point five yeah. is, is good that's a bonus and I should probably be able to do this math in my head but I can't yeah twenty three divided by three is that right. Oh, yeah, I guess we could just do the actual math, the 23 part. But I'm going to do all of it, 23 divided by 3, 7.7, 7. 7. 7, Yeah. which, ding, 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 I think, out of all three of my uh, uh, guests so far, oh, I, think, top one? I think this might be Ooh. number one so far. Now, yeah. I feel like at 7.7, 7, it's going. It, if it doesn't get beat by somebody, yeah. I'm gonna be angry at every one I bring on. Like you can't bring me an eight or a, a, you can't bring me anything top right. shelf in my world. Like you gotta bring me sevens, like whatever. Yeah. But I feel like I've had 1792 small small batch. Oh, I have one of those. I think that was yeah. and that's a good that's a good yeah. solid thirty five dollar seven point five. No, I have a single barrel, but yeah. No, that's okay. Yeah, mine's still sealed. I haven't had it yet. That that's probably gonna be better than that's just the regular okay. small batch, okay. but. Um, and then my brother, I can't remember what he brought, but I can't remember why I scored it either. I think I was being nice, maybe a 7.2, probably more like <clears> 7.5 or whatever. I don't know. But, uh, so, all right. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, man. Um, he knows. 7.7. 7. 7. So whatever this is that you okay. guys know what it is, I guess I get to know what it is now. Yeah, yeah. you can pull it yeah, out. Yeah, go pull right, it out. Pull it out. Because I can pour, I get to pour a blind. My wife's going to walk in the door any minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. A little Sagamore. This is interesting. Okay. 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 So, okay. Sagamore Spirit out what? of Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Double Oak. Mm hmm We happened to be in Baltimore for an event, and we took a tour of the distillery, and we did a tasting, mm -hmm. and this one blew me away for all everything that they had on their tasting. I thought this was fantastic. Didn't I get you, didn't, don't you have a Sagamore from me? I do. I have, Which one is uh, that? Uh, it's a taste, it's a flavor, not a flavored, but sherry. Sherry cast finish, maybe? Yeah, okay. that's what it is. Okay. Well, okay, so. In fact, in fact, that's the reason why I came over. <laughs> oh, but to come get the Sagamore. Get the, yeah. And then he drank 
all of my top shelf shit. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah I think he had Coy Hill. I think I don't know Ooh, what. I, he, oh, I did have. The uh, that and fantastic. that's how you know we're friends. Because although the, the gate, the, what was the gate one? Four gate. Four gate. Four, oh, four gate was fantastic. That was that. That's the Kelvin. What do I have? Five or six? So that's yeah, that was fantastic. That yeah, that's still in the back of my head. Y- now you know we're friends because he's getting Coy Hill and Fourgate off my top shelf, and now he's on that episode too. Yeah. So Sagamore, you guys already saw yeah. this. Um, first of all, I didn't even think I didn't even I didn't even try to say the bourbon of the rye part. I should have said that. I, um, I don't know if I would have pulled rye because it's not super peppery, it's not yeah. super spicy, uh, but it is double oak, so it's not finished. So that was me being an idiot. Like I, it's not a it, it is it is finished. It's finished in a secondary barrel. But that's where that extra color is coming yeah. from. That's where some of that, like, whoa, this isn't just a regular bourbon that's been sitting in a barrel its whole life. Like, it's right. doing something different. But it, everything else I said is me being an idiot. It's not like it's in a, it's not in an Armagnac cask. It's not in a whatever. Um, a, what's the proof on that? I am smart on the proof. It's a 96. Yeah. Jesus, my eyes suck. and I should be wearing readers. He there, took his there, readers there. off. No, yeah. it's a 96.6. I don't okay, need there it. You yeah. go. There you go. I said 100. So let's round that up. It's a nice seven. I was in. The, I was in yeah, within close. three point. Close. Yeah, I'm ready for uh, Matt Madness uh, <laughs> next year. I can pull. I pulled the proof. I would have won points on. Finished. I would have pulled points on, but I didn't even try to think about anything else because that's ridiculous. Okay, so my and you know, and you know what? I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking when I grabbed the bottle that it was a rye. I just grabbed the bottle. Well, it doesn't surprise me. I know you're a rye guy. Yeah. And I and I'm also a rye guy. I, I like rye more than I like. I think my I think what I've realized is, I if I'm gonna just blind stuff out, I'm I like rye heavy mash bill bourbon mash bills versus just straight rye. Yeah. But I love rye. I've got some great rye in there. Um, but I I'm not a weeder, so so the fact you brought a rye is right. good. So my job now is to go find some rye, a couple of rye that maybe sit in this proof range that would be interesting to yeah, drink with this sure so this is where the editing comes in because i have to go find some shit and the first time i was like would i edit this or not yeah you don't you get it this this is ridiculous was- all right so this will be an edit point <laughs> here is our blind a b c i will mix these up for joe he will not know i'm not i, I lie he didn't know what we're drinking no no so i'm gonna leave him an a b c because in prior episodes we're drinking completely, we don't know what, we're drinking different things at the different times. So now we're going to drink them all together. So let me get these glasses put down. All right. So we're back. We're back. <laughs> Somehow, some way. All right. So that was really tough, actually, to find. You guys saw um, what we got going on here. I think I didn't mess it up. I, I got myself confused. Now I'm confusing myself again. I think I'm right. So I put these in, a, in an order for a reason, and I have the bottles in an order for a reason. I showed you the bottles for a reason in a specific... And then I think I picked up the outside ones and then walked, and then I got myself all confused. But based on color, I think I know what we're doing. Who the hell knows? I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I think it'll be fine. Yeah. So I had a lot more trouble with this because I've got some really unique and cool rise. Um, so... There's things I kind of wanted Joe to have, and I got real fr- frustrated because I was like, can we have five or six Glencairns each? And I don't have enough Glencairns right now to do that. And also, that's probably not a good idea. He's got to drive home, and i got to get to Taco Bell. Um, so then, really, Proof Point became the, 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 the way I narrowed this down. So, And also, uniqueness. And there's just one in here that he had to have. There was no question. So really, it was the, the third glass was the one I was deciding between. So cool. So again, we're going to be... We have the same glasses in the same order. I kind of know what they are, but I've already forgotten because I'm obviously, like, drunk already. So I'm completely confused. Um, he has no idea what's going on. No. Um, and we're, gonna, we're gonna just going to drink these together and uh, give our thoughts. And he's got himself a little pen and paper. And before we start recording, he goes, now what do I do with this? Like, what, what do I write here? I'm like, whatever the hell you want or not at all. We've seen... Justin wrote a million notes and scores. My brother didn't write one thing. He moved the glasses around and called it good. But that <laughs> shows what kind of student they were in school, I'm sure, as well. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll get ripping on this. I'm excited to see. The first time, I would try to almost score with him 
with my guest and then right. kind of figured out now I kind of I'm gonna do the same thing just for my own interest but really it's more yeah. about you I'm gonna okay. know what you're so tell tell us what you're, what you're okay. with. so we know they're all rides we don't have to all guess rides. that we don't have to like we're not gonna play any games there and they're all close-ish in proof man that's a good nose <laughs> And again, I talk about all the time, the fun of blinds is in a vacuum. Like I drank this one time. I drank one of these, I don't know which one, one of these one time. Actually, maybe both, two of these one time. In vacuums, I like them for their own reasons. When you put them next to things, all of a sudden, maybe it doesn't hold up. And you're like, I don't like that as much as, as I used to. I don't like it as much as that one. Define say. vacuum. By itself. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the first thing the we solo. did. Yeah. Your glass that we you, you brought. Um, it was a vacuum. I was just—I okay. had nothing compared right, it, right, so right, right. it just gets its own time. That's why that, that score. Sense. That's why that score like gets locked yeah. in. Yeah. Because any, anything after whatever yours does yeah, in this got, line, they got an influence on each other. Yeah, it may get screwed up just because they don't <clears throat> go well together. Yeah. Okay. So well, give me some thoughts. What do you? Are, are, have you gone through on your nose on all of them yet? And then another trick. If you these three are all yours. Uh, one's yours. One's mine. Is that my, is that Aaron? Gosh darn it. Hey everybody, you've met Aaron. Aaron was on an episode. Oh yeah? Yeah, so that was fun. Uh, yet to be edited, but you've seen it already if you're watching this. So Aaron's gonna walk in our garage door because again, we're just in my studio in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, they're different. They're all so different. Yeah, now I don't know which one's mine. And if you ever, here's a trick. If you wanna yeah. clean your, cleanse your nose out, yeah. if you smell your arm, or your hand, or your sleeve. <coughs> That'll kind of okay. kind of reset it a little bit to the best yeah, I can best, see that. best you can. All right, you want me to rank them? As it's, in the end, you're gonna give me a one, two, three for sure. Got it. If you want to score them, you can okay. score them. Okay. If you don't, if you just want to do them in Joe style, you just whatever you. By the end, you're like, I like this the best. I like that the best. Ugh. I kind of like three. Three? It's diff It's quirky. You say you don't like it? No, I do. Oh, you do like it. And then again, I, I, I kind of feel like I kind of get like a cherry, maybe on the nose. On the nose. Maybe it's be. it's just so different. It's it, this is a quirky one. <clears throat> I'm giving you two kind of quirky ones to okay. kind of. Um, and then like I tell people all the time, water is a thing where either you, if yeah. you're gonna go after you drink them. Either water every yeah. time after, or don't do water at all. It's like one or the other, because right. water is so... It's kind of like wine. Mm. Uh. I got my scores for, uh, oh, whoops, for the nose. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep rolling. Get, get, start tasting them. Then you can yeah. come back and smell, because you're, you're, once you yeah. taste them, your nose will yeah. change. Yeah, too. Well, I'm sure. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Tell everybody hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> now she's... Has to go to her cave. Oh my gosh. The diff the, the uniqueness of three is. Yeah, that one keeps on drawing me back. Mm -hmm. I think on first pass, number three is my favorite by like a very. Hey, I watch. Come on, sorry. man. I'm sorry. New rule. Sorry. That's my uh, production <laughs> assistants will remove all technology. No, yeah. no, oh, I'm no, kidding. I'll, I'll do it. I'm kidding. It was just my wife. Uh, yeah, not again. We just covered that no. four minutes ago. No. Wife and kids, way backseat to the bourbon and to you guys. All right, we're we're all that we've one. been distracted. Oh, little, little we'll Counting it. Crows Omaha. This is a fantastic album. Mm. I love this album. A classic. And so is the next one. No, no, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the Counting Crows a number of times in concert. Okay. Every time they sing Mr. Jones... Completely yeah. different. Oh, that's cool. Then the, well, I just I just wanted the one time. Oh, you want I, the, you I, want the I, CD I, version? I want the CD version. I am the exact opposite. Just yeah. one time. No. Exactly. Every other every other time is it's the whole drawn out bluesy. Yeah. Sad, depressing. Okay, what if they did the the the, the studio CD version and then they just dragged it out afterwards? Yeah, with the and the, jammed yeah, it out. That'd be fine. That's cool. I'd be okay. With okay. That. That'd but okay. I am the person who goes to a concert and if they play it exactly like it's on the CD. I'm yeah. like, why am I here? Well, that's true too. Like, give me, tell me your musicians. Yeah. Create. Yeah. 
So I, I like think, the fact I think that's why I like Dave Matthews band. Always, always yeah. different. Yeah. But they're always. But I never got into that jam band type stuff. Like in the comments do. right now, <laughs> talk, tell us what dorks we are. Yeah, how shitty Counting Crows so, are. So how shitty Dave Matthews is. So you're a big fish guy, right? Were you, um, a, were you a fish guy? I like fish. I can't. I'm not so a, I'm I heard that. I heard fish that head. fish is going to be the second um, performer at the Las Vegas Sphere. After oh, that's gonna be the new residence. After you too. Can you imagine the so, graphics they're gonna put up on I fish know. shit? <laughs> Oh my God! You better go in on some shrooms or super high. Like that's gonna be the cool. I, yeah. The sphere. I, I, mixed feelings about the sphere. I don't even understand how you get a hundred plus thousand speakers. Like and they're like yeah. they're this big, but yeah. still, it's that's, supposed to be amazing. I, yeah, it looks cool, and because we're just geeking out and we're buzzed now. Like, can I give mad props to the Rolling Stones? Like, they're eighty gosh darn years old. I, I say gosh darn, and I'll say fuck later. Like right now. They just came out with a brand new album at 80 whatever the years old. The Stones? You don't know the, you don't know the Stones' new stuff? No. They have a brand new album, and it's not <laughs> like... It it, it it sounds just like the Stones. It could be a 30-year-old album, but it also sounds fresh and modern. Like, okay. and they're out there... Is it better than Dolly Parton's rock album? I don't know. I would... <laughs> yes. I don't even know what you're talking about, it's, I would say yes. Yeah. It's got awful. No, the Stones is, like, quality all the way through. It's not like... It's not like Ario Speedwagon, okay. who's out there still weather, yeah. wearing their leather yeah, yeah, yeah. and wearing the just right. just playing the same songs they played 40 years ago. Yeah. They're actually the Stones are still making music, and when you go see them in concert, they're still dancing and running around the stage, like 80 gosh darn years. Like I'm like the Stones yeah. are the Stones are bad at, and I'm not even like, I'm not even like a like a Stones freak. I just I just really respect what they're doing. As we get older and watch all of our, our heroes get older and die and whatever, to see the Stones still out there doing I'm like, yeah. this is crazy. Anyway. All right. On your first pass, or where are you kind of thinking right now? All right, so I like one. I like three. Okay. Two is the one that's, like, giving me problems. Not You're not loving it? it? It's, it's not bad. It's just too different? It's too just weird? Too... Not for me. What's, what about two do you not, are you not Jones in with? Like, the nose isn't as good, I don't think, as one and three. Okay, agree. I think. And I think the taste is a little bit hot. more heat. Mm -hmm. There's more heat on two than one and three. Okay. Now I could be completely wrong. You, uh, you're thinking heat proof, or you're thinking yeah, yeah. Well, sometimes heat, it's not heat, even proof. It's just an ethanol. Sometimes yeah, it comes out yeah, different. Yeah. That like Koi um, Hills 141, and I don't think it has any ethanol. Or the Koi Hills 141. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't that hot. No, it's smooth and and chocolatey. Yeah. 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 If you went through this way, like, I don't always do this either, but I'm going to go yeah. back the other way okay. and see if they hit you differently coming the other direction. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So far, just on a first pass and doing really sh crappy math, right. I think that three is my favorite, but but see again. Yeah, well, I got the same thing. This note, and I talk about this a lot too, this amount of, of liquor in the bottom of the glass yeah. is hard to get a good nose on, whereas like this one's going to be a little better. So I don't know if I even trust my scores now. I talk about all the time how I like it when it's, you come back to the nose and every time it's different. And this three is doing that for me every time it's different, and that, which makes me, it's hard to score. Because yeah. I'm like, one time I'm like, that's a seven. Then I, next time I'm like, that's an eight. That's it's a, I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. It's really good. I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm, st I'm sticking by my, uh, my score. On all of them? On all of them. Look how much is left in one. Well, one had a lot in it. <sighs> Two is so quirky. I feel like I'm, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I'm being smart today. I'm like, every time I'm like, this is what I was scored on my second pass, I look down like that's what I get the last time. Yeah. Which is all, they're all good. All three of these are good. Yeah. Do you have scores? Yeah, I do have scores. Mm. Mm hmm mm hmm Oh, oh, look at your three. Yeah. Oh, and your one. Okay, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But to be honest, this is the first time I've ever scored a blind. That's so. This could be bad or good. No, I love it. I love it. I'm saving this. Super dummy. Yeah, <laughs> frame that shit so when we're all famous, yeah. you're like, look at this. What's your? What was your favorite? My favorite was three. So. So, my favorites. Here's here's my scoring. This one, which is what? This is a Middle West. Okay. Spirits. Straight rye whiskey. It's a dark pumpernickel. Okay. 
So aged over, so it's over three years. So that, so we just, we don't know how aged it is. Right. We just know it's over three. Um, and where's this from? Uh, Columbus, Ohio. And it's a 96 proof. So this is one where I've seen these before and I just pass them over. Right. And then I kept seeing some of those, those awesome channels that we all love praising the Middle West stuff. Spe yeah. spe specifically this pumpernickel. Yeah. And I was like, I love pumpernickel bread. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this is the fun of this game that we play. This is, is the mash bill. Like, so these, just these craft distilleries are doing cool stuff with, um, heirloom grains and things that are older grains things that you don't you're not used to you know whereas like the big boys when they when they're good if they're gonna make a rye they're gonna make it with some easily growable easily gettable right. mass rye you know so this is a fun one and this one is so quirky yeah pumpernickel rye but now that you say the pumpernickel like, yeah i can kind of, i you can kind of hear i can smell that yeah no well i can kind of taste it yeah yeah that's my number one too okay so I, I, I thought it was fantastic. I gave it an eight. That's okay. An average of eight of eight for me. That was an average of eight. Yours an eight point yeah. three. Eight point three. So you're repeating three. Uh, three, 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 three. Yeah. yeah. That would be yeah. a top shelf in your yeah. world for uh, if it was an eight point three. According to your, your according story. to my own yeah. eight point yes. two scale, right. yes, it's not top shelf for me, but it is really good. Okay. Um, and then. And then my two. my my two was bottle number one. Which is that, your bottle? Which was my bottle. And this is the problem. This is why I love doing this because he doesn't know what he's drinking and what order he's drinking them in. Yeah. So I feel like his scores are the most authentic. Um, this one for me got third. Okay. But it's a 7.5, which is a super solid bottle. Yeah. You know? And what did you score initially? 7.7? Seven, 7.7, seven? Seven, seven, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So good. Good. That's a good. good thank yeah. you, producer. Yeah. I did an 8.5 on the nose initially with you in a right, vacuum. Right. I did 8.5 when we were doing the blind, and then when I came back around and was comparing them, I dropped, dropped it a it. half. Right. I did a seven on the palate initially. I did a seven on the palate this time. I did a 7.5 on the finish. I did seven. So I did everything the exact same actually, except I just Drop dropped that nose a little yeah. bit down yeah. compared to other things. Yeah. So I feel like 7.5 is 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 its probably true spot. But it's going to be a 7.7 .7 in our show forever. Yeah. Because I locked that in. Should we talk about costs? Not yet, because you okay. don't know what this is. No, I don't. This is your third place? Yeah, that was my third place. This is my second place. Okay. That was bottle number two. Dirt. Glass number two. Yeah. It wasn't bad. Have you read it yet? No, I, I can't see that. Yo, oh, it's a oh, sorry, old man. It's a Sagamore. It's, I see. Like well, you, I, I see that. Yes. So when you brought Sagamore, I was like, yeah. I've got to bring this Sagamore. Out. Okay. I just got yeah. this this week. Okay. It's a Sagamore. Right. Distiller Select. Finished in tequila barrels. Ah, that's what was throwing me off, probably. It was different. Yeah. It was unique. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a uh, tequila finish, and it's a ninety-eight proof. Yours was okay. like a ninety-seven proof. Right. This one was, I think, a hundred proof. No, 96 proof. Like, these are literally They're the all, same proof. all the same, right? Yeah, so proof is not our yeah. issue. But, yeah, I wanted you to have this because, one, you love Sagamore. Right. Two, here's Sagamore. But tequila finish? Yeah. Very unique. And so the fact you brought Sagamore tonight and that I had this in my – and, yeah. like, literally this week I bought this. I'm like, that's got to be there. And then this, this Middle West, if you haven't tried that, go try that if you're a rye person especially. So unique. Yeah. That but, was, it was fantastic. Yeah, and that was was that your number one? That was my number one. That was your number one. I had, so, I had a score of what eight point three. Yeah, so so this would be Joe's top shelf if that was his score system, yeah. which he doesn't have, I don't think. Not yet. And then yeah, that was a lot of fun. So thank you all for watching this. Thank you guys. Thank you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> That's good shit.